Cameron, words cannot express the joy that fills my heart when I think about becoming your wife. I've waited on this day for what seems like forever, and now it's finally here. We're told that today is the start of forever, but really it started four years ago. If my 19-year-old self could see me now, oh, how proud she'd be. I want to say thank you for a few things that you've done in these past four years, some of which I'm not sure you've realized you've done. Firstly, I want to say thank you for loving me while I was still learning to love myself. It wasn't easy some days, but you've shown me more patience and persistence than I knew was possible for anyone to show. Thank you for being my best friend. Thank you for being everything I've ever dreamed of and everything that I didn't know I needed. Thank you for making me laugh more in the past four years than I ever have in my entire life. Thank you for being the man that I know that your mom would be so proud of. Thank you for loving my family. I'm not sure any of us remember what life was like before you, especially my daddy. Thank you for being my rock, my safe space, and most of all, my home. Make sure the light defeated the dark and spend every hour of every day keeping you safe. And I climb every mountain. From day one, I knew that you were the person for me from our first date. And you not eating a single thing to me flying back from Arizona, losing my luggage, rushing to take you on a date to the moon. <laughs> to my first Auburn game with you, what was I thinking? To buying our first home together, to taking you ring shopping, you picking out your forever ring, to being scared to ask your daddy until the week before to marry you planning the wedding of your dreams and now we are here a little closer i need you to pull me tonight i also want you to know that my mama would have adored you and i climb every mountain and i honestly wish she was here to see me marry the person that was that was meant for me you make me who I am, you make me complete. Thank you for loving me the way you do. I promise to love you for the rest of my life. I love you. Before we begin, let us bow our heads and pray that God bless Cam and Haley in their new life together. We come here to pray your blessings upon Cam and Haley. We ask that you walk with them together as you have walked with them in the past in their lives to this point. Heavenly Father, we know that you have a plan for their lives. We know that you love them. We ask, Father, that you keep them committed to you, Lord, and that you keep them committed to one another as they begin this journey as one flesh in your name. And we pray that you will heap your blessings upon them as they walk together with you from this day forward. Amen. In the book of 1 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul provides us with a beautiful description of the kind of love that a marriage needs. Paul writes, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angry, it keeps no record of wrongs, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always preserved. Cam and Haley, I want to urge you to hold that vision of your love for one another because of all of us here behind you and rooting for you, life throws many challenges. And in the midst of those challenges, it is that kind of love that Paul was describing that is going to get you through it. Cam Haley, it is my pleasure and honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Cam, you may kiss your bride.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Cameron Johnson.